Ever pondered what it feels like to journey through the ancient wonders of Egypt? Welcome to our virtual voyage across this land of timeless mysteries, where every road tells a story. From the mighty Nile that snakes its way through golden deserts to the towering pyramids that kiss the sky, Egypt is a treasure trove of stories waiting to be discovered. Here, history isn't just etched into stone. It breathes in the bustling bazaars, echoes in the whispering sands, and twinkles in the eyes of its warm and welcoming people. But Egypt is more than just its past. It's a vibrant blend of cultures, where tradition and modernity dance a timeless waltz. Egypt's landscapes, as diverse as they are breathtaking, unfold like a well-thumbed book, each page revealing a new secret, a new adventure. So fasten your seatbelts and dust off your explorer's hat. Join us as we delve into the top 10 places you must visit when in Egypt. Our voyage begins in the heart of Egypt, Cairo. A city teeming with life, where every nook and cranny tells a tale of its rich past and dynamic present. Just imagine strolling down the bustling streets, the air filled with the aroma of strong coffee and sweet pastries, and the distant sound of a muezzin calling for prayer. First stop on our Cairo tour is the Egyptian Museum, a treasure trove of ancient artifacts. It's like stepping into a time machine, whisking you back to the time of pharaohs and mummies. Here you'll find everything from golden chariots to the mesmerizing death mask of Tutankhamun. But don't let the mummies scare you, they're just here for history. Next we dive into the labyrinth of narrow alleyways that is the Khan El Khalili Bazaar. Spices, jewelry, traditional lanterns, it's a kaleidoscope of colors and a symphony of sounds. And don't forget to haggle, it's all part of the experience. But Cairo is not just about history and shopping, it's a city of contrasts where skyscrapers overlook centuries-old mosques and churches, where modern cafes sit side by side with traditional tea houses. It's a city that never sleeps, always in motion, always ready to surprise you. Cairo, a city where the past and present collide, a perfect starting point for our Egyptian adventure. So buckle up because this is just the beginning. Next, we find ourselves in Luxor, the world's largest open-air museum. It's a city that whispers tales of the past, where every stone and every grain of sand has a story to tell. Luxor is home to the awe-inspiring temples of Karnak and Luxor. The Temple of Karnak, built over a period of 1300 years, is a colossal collection of sanctuaries, pylons and obelisks dedicated to the Theban gods and the greater glory of Egypt. It's a place that truly humbles you with its grandeur. On the other hand, the Luxor Temple, adorned with captivating hieroglyphics and statues, is an architectural marvel that comes alive under the evening lights, painting a picture of an era gone by. And then there's the Valley of the Kings, a royal burial ground for pharaohs such as Tutankhamun and Ramses II. This valley, hidden deep in the heart of the desert, houses tombs richly decorated with scenes from Egyptian mythology, reflecting the beliefs and funerary rituals of the period. But it's not just about the grand structures here in Luxor, it's the feeling of walking in the footsteps of pharaohs, the thrill of uncovering stories from the past, and the sense of being a part of something much bigger than ourselves. Luxor, where ancient history comes alive. Onto the world's longest river, the Nile. This winding river has been the lifeline of Egypt for millennia, fostering civilization itself along its fertile banks. The Nile's abundance brought forth the ancient Egyptians' ingenuity, leading to the creation of their remarkable irrigation systems and the development of their impressive agriculture. It's not just about history, though. Today, the Nile continues to be the heart of Egypt, its waters vital to the everyday life of the locals. It's a bustling hub of activity, where fishermen cast their nets in the early morning haze, children splash and play in the shallows, and farmers tend their crops in the lush fields. But the Nile isn't just for the industrious. It's also for the dreamers, the explorers, the seekers of beauty and tranquility. Picture yourself sailing on a traditional felucca, the gentle lull of the water beneath you and the vast star-studded sky above. Imagine the sun setting, casting a golden glow on the river, while the distant call to prayer echoes softly, creating a moment that's as serene as it is profound. The Nile River doesn't just flow through Egypt, it flows through time, carrying with it tales of pharaohs, pyramids, and a civilization that has left an indelible mark on the world. The Nile, Egypt's lifeblood, a testament to its enduring legacy. Now, 
Witness the grandeur of Abu Simbel. These colossal temples, carved directly into a mountainside, were constructed over 3,000 years ago by the Pharaoh Ramses II. They serve as a testament to his reign, his divine status, and his enduring love for his queen, Nefertari. The larger of the two temples, dedicated to Ramses himself, is an awe-inspiring sight. Four massive statues of the Pharaoh, each standing over 65 feet tall, guard the entrance. Inside, a labyrinth of chambers and hallways are adorned with intricate carvings depicting Ramses' military victories and divine interactions. Just a stone's throw away is the smaller temple, dedicated to Queen Nefertari. Although it is less grand in size, it is equally impressive in its artistry. This temple uniquely places the queen and the pharaoh on equal footing, a rarity in ancient Egyptian art. But the true marvel of Abu Simbel is not just its grandeur or its artistry. It's the fact that in the 1960s, these entire temples were relocated to save them from being submerged by the rising waters of Lake Nasser. Each stone was painstakingly cut, moved and reassembled in a feat of modern engineering that rivals the ancient ones. Abu Simbel, a monumental tribute to ancient engineering, stands as a timeless testament to the power and ingenuity of the human spirit. It is a treasure of the past that continues to inspire awe and wonder in the present. Venture into the Red Sea Riviera, a destination that can make even the most well-traveled globetrotters' hearts skip a beat. Imagine a stretch of coastline kissed by the sun where the desert meets the sea and the sky paints a panorama of blues as far as the eye can see. This is where you'll find the pristine beaches of the Red Sea Riviera. Take a stroll along the soft, sandy beaches of Sharm El Sheikh, where the golden sunsets can make poets out of us all. Or perhaps you'd rather feel the thrill of diving into the crystal clear waters, teeming with vibrant marine life and technicolor coral reefs. Sharm El Sheikh, often hailed as the underwater city of peace, is a diver's paradise, offering some of the world's most renowned diving sites but the allure of the Red Sea Riviera doesn't end there. A few miles down the coast, you'll find Hugada, another gem of the Riviera. Known for its bustling nightlife and luxury resorts, Hugada has a charm all its own. Its beaches, equally pristine, invite you to soak in the sun by day, while its lively streets draw you in with the promise of a vibrant night scene. The Red Sea Riviera, a paradise for beach lovers and divers, an escape where you can lose track of time amidst the sun, sand and sea. A place that truly embodies the phrase, life's a beach. Next, we journey through the ethereal landscapes of the white desert. In this otherworldly expanse, nature's chisel, the wind, has been at work for countless millennia, sculpting the chalk white rock into spectacular formations. It's a place where reality blurs with dream, where you can lose yourself among bizarrely shaped structures that seem to have sprung from a surrealist's imagination. The desert's beauty is stark, yet undeniably captivating, a testament to the artistic prowess of Mother Nature herself. From towering monoliths to smaller, intricately carved sculptures, the landscape is a constantly changing gallery of natural art. By day, the desert is a canvas of blinding white, but as the sun sets, the landscape transforms. The rocks take on hues of pink and gold, creating a mesmerizing spectacle that leaves an indelible impression on all who witness it. The White Desert, a mesmerizing testament to nature's artistry, is a place that truly encapsulates the phrase, seeing is believing. Onwards to Edfu, home to the Temple of Horus. This magnificent structure is one of the best preserved temple complexes in Egypt and its grandeur is a testament to the architectural prowess of the ancient Egyptians. Built over a span of 180 years, the Temple of Edfu is an awe-inspiring sight, with its colossal sandstone walls etched with intricate hieroglyphics and dramatic depictions of mythological events. At the heart of this complex lies the sanctuary of Horus, the falcon god. Horus was revered as a god of the sky, war and hunting, a powerful protector in ancient Egyptian mythology the Temple of Edfu is more than just an architectural marvel. It's a bridge to the past, a window into the rich, complex world of ancient Egyptian religion and culture. Edfu, a city steeped in ancient mythology, relax and rejuvenate in the tranquil Siwa oasis. A world away from the bustling cities and crowded tourist spots, Siwa oasis is a peaceful haven nestled in the heart of the western desert. Here you'll find tranquility in abundance, a place where time seems to stand still. 
Siwa is home to natural hot springs, a perfect spot to unwind and soak away the weariness of travel. Immerse yourself in these warm, soothing waters, letting the healing properties of the mineral-rich springs work their magic. As you relax, let the sounds of nature serve as your soundtrack, with rustling palm leaves and chirping birds creating a symphony of serenity. But the magic of Siwa doesn't end there. As the day draws to a close, prepare for a spectacle that's nothing short of breathtaking. The sunsets here are truly a sight to behold, painting the sky in hues of gold, orange and pink. It's a mesmerizing view that's sure to etch itself into your memory forever. Siwa Oasis, a serene retreat amidst the desert. Marvel at the sacred sanctuaries of Karnak. This is no mere temple complex, it is a sprawling city of the gods. A testament to the grandeur of the new kingdom pharaohs who built it. Picture towering columns so tall, they seem to scrape the sky. These are the great hyperstyle halls 134 columns, an impressive forest of stone that leaves you in awe. Each sanctuary within Karnak is dedicated to a different deity. The most revered is the precinct of Amunre, the king of the gods. Imagine walking through this sacred space, feeling the weight of thousands of years of history under your feet. But Karnak is more than just a monumental structure. It was a place of processions, festivals and rituals, a living, breathing testament to the ancient Egyptian's spiritual life. Karnak, a testament to the architectural prowess of the ancients. Finally, stand in awe of the great pyramids of Giza. These magnificent structures, rising from the sands of the desert, are a testament to the ingenuity and ambition of ancient Egypt. Over 4,500 years old, they remain as one of the last seven wonders of the ancient world. Imagine, if you will, a time when these pyramids were not just tombs for the pharaohs, but symbols of divine connection. Constructed to withstand the test of time, they were designed to guide the souls of the pharaohs to the afterlife, to continue their reign among the gods. The largest of the three, the Pyramid of Khufu, is a marvel of engineering, with its 2,300,000 stone blocks, each weighing an average of two and a half tons. Even today we still puzzle over how such a feat was achieved in an era without modern machinery. But it's not just their size that amazes us, it's their precision, aligned to the cardinal points with an accuracy better than a tenth of a degree. These pyramids remind us of the ancient Egyptians' deep understanding of astronomy, as you wander around, you may wonder about the people who built these pyramids, the lives they led, the stories they could tell. These pyramids are more than just stone structures. They are a bridge to the past, a connection to the ancient world, the great pyramids of Giza, eternal monuments to the pharaohs. From ancient treasures to natural wonders, Egypt is a tapestry of unforgettable experiences. We've journeyed through the bustling streets of Cairo, marveled at the majestic temples of Luxor, and sailed upon the lifeline of Egypt the Nile River. We've stood in awe of the monumental temples of Abu Simbel, taken a dip in the pristine beaches of the Red Sea Riviera, and surrendered to the surreal landscapes of the White Desert. We've traced the stories of the falcon god Horus at the Temple of Edfu, then relaxed in the tranquil retreat of Siwa Oasis, and also felt the spiritual energy of the sacred sanctuaries at Karnak. And finally, we've stood in the shadow of the eternal monuments, the Great Pyramids of Giza, our Egyptian journey has been nothing short of epic. Which of these top 10 places would you add to your Egypt itinerary? Please like, comment and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Why not have a look at our other videos from around the world on screen now? We're putting out loads of videos so be sure to tune in for the next one. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy travels.